Grave 646. Back again after my big fail. You don't know, you won't see it, but it was a big fail. Okay, I'm driving. I've got the uh, hands-free thing on, and I'm about to hatch my first egg since the new eggs came out. So, what we're going to hopefully see is there's Sir Kurt third, the third. Yes, the third, who has now been in the gym for five days. 4.6 kilometers. We're sitting on the freeway in slow-mo, normal traffic days, but me, being the hatch king, is going to do our first hatch, and we're gonna get something special. I'm just kind of feeling it. The mojo is coming, okay? Look at me go. Slow down. Thank you. We gotta hatch it. We're getting closer. I've hatched two, count up, two Lapras. I've hatched a Snorlax. I've hatched a Magmar, and a couple, I'm not, I'm a Pasa Jock. I am a Pasa Jock. Okay, so last time, you know, Luke, MTV, forget what he changed his new name to, but hey, the little guy told me my video was boring. Hello? What does that mean, boring? Okay, he said it was too short. Now we're going to do a little longer video. We're in traffic, you can't see it, but don't worry about it, just believe me, that's, I'm driving, see, I'm driving, and, let me turn this a little bit, there we go, thank you, driving, you know, and, Look how slow I'm going. What kind of traffic is this? This is normal traffic, but on top of it, it's raining. I know it doesn't look like it because it's California rain, which means it's like dribbling. You know, blah, 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 blah. It rained a little last night, but we were all asleep. So we're going to have to. I tried to pause this, and it became a big fail. So we are just going to leave it on. And let's see what's in the Let's see what's in the sighting. Polywalk. I need Polywalk. It's one of the Evos that I haven't done yet. I'm getting ready to do. Um, Uh-oh, he's gone. So I don't get any more candy. But he is my buddy. You can see. I better stop goofing around. He's my buddy. So, I'm, I'm getting closer to catching Luke MTV. Yes, I know you're watching. You're in school right now. But when you're out of school, you're watching. And I am going to catch you. Holidays are off next week. We got a big Pokemon next week, so check back with us next week because we're both going to be pumping out of the videos. Oh, I can feel it. I'm feeling a good hatch coming. We're getting close. As soon as we get to another stop point on the freeway, we will check and see what's up. But right now, all hands are on the patrols driving the car. I haven't used the windshield wipers if you hear that weird noise because it's rainy. Sprinkling. Okay, so if you watch this video, I need you to answer something in the comments. I need you to do this for me. I need you to put in there who's your favorite Generation 2 character. That, sorry, somebody sent me a message. Who's the Generation 2 character that you're going to be ready to get coming up, hopefully, hopefully during the Christmas holiday? But Luke MTV is the one that would know when it's coming up. Me, I don't know anything. I get my news from the little guy. I give him a shout out. He usually sits right back there. That's his seat over there. Let me turn this a little. Sit right there. Over there, that's his seat. He's not there, obviously. So, but maybe we'll do a video tonight. The three of us, including Train Boy 100. Or, oh, you know, Train Boy 34. We're all, well, maybe it's 64. I don't know. I always get it wrong. The Train Boy is uh, coming out with us tonight. We're going to be doing some, maybe we'll do a video in the mall. We're going to go in the mall. We're going to check out GameStop, see what's up in there, something new. Uh, maybe I'll look for a new game. Or maybe I'll surprise them with what they're going to get for Christmas. I'm not going to say it on the video. Nice try, Luke MTV. You almost got me to say it. But I got something really special planned out for the guys for Christmas. So I know they love Plants vs. Zombies Garden Warfare 2. So maybe they'll do a video during the holidays for me on that one. But let's check back. We're sitting in traffic. We are sitting in traffic. We're not even moving. We're not going to gain a hatching egg if we can't move. Where are we at now? We're at 4.6. Uh oh, the rain's coming down. A little bit harder. A little bit harder. I had to actually use the windshield wipers twice. So, um, hello? You're not really allowed to do that. What are you doing? Okay, sorry. I had to talk to the traffic. Sometimes people don't think it's a video game. They drive like they're in a video game. 
you don't realize there's people in the other car. It's not a video game where there's nobody in the cars in the game. So, but it's raining a little bit harder. We got to be getting closer. Hey, we're coming up to. What are we coming up to? That's a. There's like a bunch of games. There's a bunch of Poke Stops and a gem. Oh, it's Boomers. Boomers. Boomers has a gem and like five Poke Stops. There's one behind me on the screen. You can't see. You see my video. So, but. And this is a, if he says this video is boring, we're all in trouble. Okay, so Hatch King over here, I got a riot on that is just kicking butt. Oops, kicking bootay. Um, I've named him. I've named him. Yes, I have. I have named him King Ahab. And the dude just pounds it in the gym. I was in the gym and I took out a Gyarados. And, ooh, poke stop, poke stop, poke stop. And I took out a Snorlax just like it was nothing. Boom! I dropped on them bombs and stuff. And they were just, couldn't handle it. So I took over the gym, the Google gym. Yeah, by my work, there's two gyms by the Google office. I call them the Google gym. Um, every day, I walk over there and just beat them to death. Power up, get me some coins. Um, and then, you know what? I don't even know what to buy with a coin. I just don't use coins, so I'm the I'm the Hatch King. It means I'm walking, and I am walking. Now I'm doing videos. Where are we at? We have got to be getting close. Wait, that's no mark. Four point six. That means it's gonna be. That means it's gonna happen. Yeah, six five. It's just gonna all of a sudden happen. Okay, so we're gonna leave this on while we're driving and turn the cross drawn. So I'll go to my Pokemon real quick. Turn up for you real quick. So what do we got? There's King David. He's okay. Okay, there's King Herod on the right. These guys rock. I put in one gym, I put six. I call him six right on. And we went to battle. And we did had no problem at all. So, and there's Sir Kurt the Third. You know, it's funny, it's for four days, or three days, Super Daddy. Who named my lapper Super Daddy? And uh, that must have been Luke MTV. Okay. So for four or no count of three days, I had Sir Kurt the Third. That's my Snorlax that Luke MTV caught for me, not my hatch for me, in a gym, and I didn't know where the gym was. I couldn't remember it until all of a sudden I was at a, I was at a stop stoplight, and there was a gym right over there. So I pulled over. Yeah, pulled over, and guess what? I was in that gym already, and I didn't even realize it. And then I looked, and it was me, Sir Kurt the Third. Imagine that. So we have got to be close to hatching. But now, okay, look, now we're moving fast. So this could be a quick drive, get off the freeway, and have to walk to hatch it. So you may be going to work with me today. This is like my drive to work, folks. If you ever don't, hey, Luke MTV, I know you're watching the video. At this point, you are driving to work with me. It's kind of funny. So, but you know the drive, not like this. So, so, and this is um, my last day at work for a week um, until the holiday because I'm taking vacation for a week and taking it off for the, the boys. They're not there yet, but they're normally there. <clears throat> and we are going to do all kinds of fun stuff because you know what? We're in California and we know, yes, we know this rain is not going to last. So, uh-oh, my character stopped. What's up with that? How can you stop? There he goes. Okay, now we're back to walking. Let's get this egg hatch, guys. Okay, the hatch king's getting, getting nervous. The video's lasting a long time. You're probably bored with me, but as you can see, I can just blah, 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 blah. Okay, so um, let's talk about strategies. So my strategy, Luke MTV has to watch to hear this. My strategy is... I just get everything I see, boom, 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 and then transfer it. And I just roll up that stardust, okay? But then I don't, my problem is I don't pay attention to when I have enough candy to do my evolve. I have to look for Luke MTV to hack me. He thinks he's hacking. I'm watching you, my account. And what he does is he goes, oh, you need to evolve this and this and this and this. But that's why he's two levels ahead of me. And I'm way back here because he knows what he's doing. I need to pay attention, but I'm still the hatch king. You name it, I'll hatch it. 
And I'm telling you, I'm feeling this one coming. This is going to be a good hatch. We ever get to it. So we're going really slow again. Where are we at? Better not be 4-6 still. There's no one. You showed you Noah, I showed you Luke. Who else? You want to see the beast? There's Luke. That's Noah again. So there you go. 4-6. Oh my god. Okay, all of a sudden it's just gonna hatch. Okay. Oh, focus stop, focus stop. You can't get it. See? You can't drive and play Pokemon Go. You can drive and talk about Pokemon Go. But we're um we're getting close. Oh, focus stop, focus stop. We are uh, yeah, I know I say that's kinda weird. Um, we are getting close to, okay, so we're going to be hatching this when I get to work, so we are at, um, we're about two miles, three miles from when I get off the freeway, and then hopefully when we're in the freeway, on the streets it'll hatch. Uh, oh, there's a gym. Um, if not, oh, got a Dragonite in the top. I still don't have a Dragonite, because I don't pay attention. I need to put the Dragonite as my buddy. But what did I have as my buddy for like, what, like 100 kilometers? Wow. Well, what good did that do me? Nothing. As soon as the change for all of the, um, the um, CP and calculations for that came around, my Lapras got worse, but my Riodon are awesome. And my Snorlax, Sir Kirk the Third, is awesome. Okay? Um, I don't, I'm driving, so I can't show you any of his movesets. But I know two of them have the best movesets. The top movesets. And the lady said, Analyze says, Are you spectacular? Whatever she says, I don't know. But they should put a voice on that. That would be cool. When she does analyze your Pokemon, I think it should be voice activated. She should talk. It's very easy to do. Throw in the program a couple of bit wave files. All it says the same thing anyway. There's only a couple things it says. And then it can tell you, Your Pokemon! It's spectacular, beyond whatever, whatever. I see he has an amazing D attack. I don't know, whatever. Put some voice on there, maybe the voice of um, Laura Croft or something. That would be totally cool. So, all right, we're getting close to, uh, I'm not a passenger. Um, getting close, ooh, freeway just backed up again, which is good news for us. I know it's weird because normally I hate it. Today it's good news. We're gonna hatch it. That sounds funny, but yes, we are now moving. We have been filming for 12 minutes more. This is a lot, way a lot for me. Normally my videos are a lot shorter. Well, actually, I shouldn't say that because I don't really have a lot of videos, and I keep getting yelled at by Luke MTV, which I think he changed his name, so also known as Luke MTV. He tells me, Daddy, Daddy, you have to do more videos. You don't know what you're doing. That's why you move. That's why you're. He goes, That's why your subscribers aren't going up. Because you don't do any videos. Uh, and so it's time. It's starting at the beginning. We're going to do this the first hatch. We're going to figure out a better way to record my hatching. Actually, I should do these little spurt videos. And then I can slice them together and edit them. But I can't do that in the car. And I can't do that today. Because I'm also doing some surprise Christmas shopping. By the boy. So, where are we at? We're now at the uh, 405 freeway, just so you know. Bristol. Hello. Somebody cut me off again. So, I don't really understand why people do that. Just drive. We're all going to the same war. Actually, you're not gaining anything. You don't care about that. Sorry, back to the game. All right, so, I, my favorite character or Pokemon in here. Sorry, that's my winter wipe. Oh, wow. My favorite Pokemon probably is... You know, I don't know. It's kind of weird. You know, I don't know if it's based on not battle, just coolness. Um, Hitmonlee is probably one of the coolest looking ones. Um, I don't ever use them to power them up. Um, um, for battles, in the battles, I like to use um, um, the Arcanine because I can make that guy can jump around. <clears throat> but um, I like the Earthquake for the best. Um, uh, special, special, what do you call it, you know, uh, power move. Um, so, we gotta be getting close, folks. Check it out Why we sit still again. One person not driving slow, and that's what's gonna be Okay, 4-6, that means it's just gonna happen. Alright, so, um, I know I can't pause it, because I really don't know how to use the screen app, I'm just learning. Um, 
I need to get a remote control. That would be totally cool. Remote control for the app. I know it makes no sense, but it would be cool. Um, here we go. Driving faster. He's going to go. Watch how fast he runs. He stops. And then he runs. And he stops. And he runs. And he stops. And he runs. Because I'm uh, driving fast and no touching the game. One guy's holding up the whole trap and don't know what he's doing. Maybe it's his first day on the three so, um, so for the Christmas holiday, what kind of cool ideas do I think they should have? Um, uh, the Pikachu with a Santa hat, you know, that kind of app is cool. I haven't found one yet. Look at MTV, probably five of them. I know he's got at least three. Um, he, like, finds all the stuff. He is the amazing, not only is he awesome at the game, but he also is the ditto finder. He just sits down and finds a ditto. Daddy, let's in here. Ditto. Daddy, let's eat here. Ditto. And what do I do? I can't find anything. I found Ditto the first day. I found Ditto. Two of them. Haven't found one since. He's found a lot of my stuff. I have to thank him. So, but... So, um... What do I think they should do for a Christmas thing? I think they should do all kinds of cool stuff. Um, uh, like... They should have a Santa fly across the screen. That would be totally funny. And a sleigh and a reindeer come across the top of your screen at certain times. Um, like a reindeer pops up and you can't catch it and it laughs and runs away. No kind of, hey, funny things like that. I'm kind of bizarre with some of that stuff, but I'm thinking that would be totally cool. Um, what else? Um, like some elves. Uh, you hatch an egg and an elf pops out and laughs at you and then he comes to the character. Wouldn't that be funny? A little elf pops out. Kind of look like an imp from Plants vs. Zombies. You know, the imp, the guy that the gargantuan carries. That would be hilarious. And then um, when you're walking, yeah, that'd be cool to have all of a sudden snow coming down on the screen as you're walking, even though it's not snowing where you're at. They could add weather to it. That'd be funny. So um, I'm giving them ideas. They should be paying me. I got all kinds of cool stuff. Um, I'm waiting for the ba um, I'm waiting for battling. And trading is probably what I'm really excited about the most, is trading, because I think it will add a, um, a lot of value to the game that's needed. Um, for people, that's, it's hard to, um, you know, if you're working and you play the game, it's hard to get certain characters, or you just can't get enough time in the game. Uh, you can trade for some. But I think they got to do, I, um, Luke MTV was telling me that they're going to gonna be like, you, put, you can put it up for trade. Um, not like a timeshare, you know, you bank your week and then you use something else, it's funny. Um, but I also would like to be able to pick, um, hey Luke, and say, here, let's trade this. Like you do your friend, you trade Pokemon cards, like that. Um, and then battling head to head would be an awesome thing, just to be fight it out. For, and you get, I don't know, maybe you get some um, XP for doing battles, the winner gets XP. Just a little amount of XP, nothing big or major. We're almost off the freeway, guys. Garbage truck. Um, but I was uh, watching uh, Trainer Tips with uh, Luke MTV and listening to him talk about stuff. And he's got really good ideas too. And we're going to go in the area where he's at during the break and um, look for some Pokemon. Now, what I'm looking for, I'll tell you, the ones that I don't have that I'm not happy about is I don't have a Gyarados. Sorry, that's my phone again. Somebody messaged me. I need a Gyarados, guys. I need help. Post on here. If you're in California, I would like for you to post for me. Anybody who knows of a Dragonite nest or has caught a Dragonite, tell me where. Because we're on the move. We've got a week. We've got until Christmas Eve. Christmas Eve, they're going to have presents. And um, when they presents, they're going to be, oh! So, and they're going to get the special present that day. And they're going to be, oh! And they're not going to be wanting to go Pokemon Go hunting. So, because our house is like a dead zone. Pokemon don't visit our house at all. They're like, we're not coming there. We're staying away from you. I got a pool. So why aren't the water ones, why is not my house a Magikarp nest? It'd be awesome. I could just sit there all day when I'm home, not doing anything. Just kidding. Um, doing Magikarps. I'm loading them up because I don't have even enough of those yet. I'm still at like 300. So, and of course... Luke MTV, I don't know, he's got like a thousand of them already. So, all right, so now we're on, our, we're, we're now off the freeway. And it's a good day of traffic, oh my gosh, I didn't realize it. So we're off the freeway, 
And now we're going to this back route to work that has six Pokestops. But we're in a car, so we don't get to pick them unless we pull off to the side of the road. But we're going to try to hatch this baby now, guys. I may have to just walk around in circles at work in our building. My building is a huge pokey spot for Pokemon. I've seen uh, uh, Cypher, which I still haven't caught him. Um, I've seen Snorlax, I can catch that. Magmar, um, all kinds of stuff. But there's this big water, present, this water um, government facility across my building. It's a government facility where they, they're researching water or something. Who knows what they're doing, but if you're an old guy, an X-Files fan, you know what I mean. Who knows what they're doing? So, all right, we're on the road again. We're going slow. You can see he's walking and talking. Those, those roads are actually roads, not walkways, that he's walking on. Dude, get off the road. Thank you. Back on the sidewalk. So, I don't know why he walks on the road. There's a sidewalk right there, and he walks off crazy. So, all right, well, we're getting close. We've got to be close to hatching today. Okay, I'm telling you, if you're bored, either tough it out or fast forward to the end because this video is going to go and we're going to hatch this egg. And I'm guaranteeing, yes, I am the hatch king guaranteeing that we are going to get ourselves a special one. I'm going to pull over here on the side of the road. I am now stopped because I'm going to hatch him up. Okay, back to driving again. Let's go. We do this all the time. Not many people come on this back road in the morning, so we just kind of drive down here. Um, we gotta be close. We gotta be close. What is it? We gotta be close. Gotta be close. I'll do a theme song when we're getting close to hatching. We gotta be close. But hey, train boy 64 hears that, he's not gonna be happy. Stop singing, Danny. You're not very good. So Luke and TV laugh. But you get, get mad at me because I put on my, I put on the I put on Toby Mac and I go, Toby Mac, boom! Every time I hear the name Toby Mac, I gotta go, oh, boom! And they uh, look at me like I'm silly. Even if I hear it, they say Toby Mac, I go, boom! So we're getting close. Ooh, I gotta turn the heat off in the car. Okay, it's not much rain, it's drizzle. We're gonna fall off over here and get this poke stop also, and then we're gonna check the status of our egg. So we pull to a full stop, we look around, make sure nobody's our blinkers are on. Poke it up. Try again later. I hate when that happens. Because he's walking downhill, we're not gonna get it. Oh, we got it. Boom. Alright. Blinkers on, because it's time to go. We got a green light. So now, here we go. You're gonna get to see a special treat. I don't know what, how many days you guys are in a gym, but I've never been in a gym long. This gym right up here on the left, it's on the corner of a street where people can't walk. And that's the gym that I'm in. And we're going to come to the stoplight because we're on the way to work. So I'm going to pull over to the stoplight. And in a second, we're going to take and get ourselves a look at the gym if we have time. So we're parked. Oh, no, not yet. So, 
it is only 24 minutes. It's not too long, but it's if they can press it and make it pretty small. They have a pretty good job. Um, well, you may have to watch the second video. If we don't hatch it, it may be video two because you can't walk around in circles at work. It's really funny. But. I'm telling you, this is weird because one day um, I was like at four, six, like that, and then I got out and walked like two steps, and boom, the egg hatched. And I was like, how did it do that? What? No, I thought they were calculating in like every fourth um, of a kilometer. I thought they were or fourth um, of a kilometer. I thought that's when they were adding the eggs up. But it's kind of hard to tell now what they're doing. A lot of stuff with the calculations I'd like to get in and hack into that baby and take a look and see how they're calculating stuff. Because um, one of the big flaws that I believe is the, the kilometers for hatching for eggs. They need to do something differently with it, especially when it comes to getting the, the buddy and the candy. The buddy. They need to like uh, either add a time factor um, or limit the change the miles so they're shorter. I think a time factor would be better instead of miles covered maybe time playing the game so basically for every 15 minutes of playing the game you get a candy for your buddy I think that would be a lot better um, or every five minutes of playing the game you get a candy something like that depending on which Pokemon it is so um, just think you know I'm gonna send Niantic an email about them, my thoughts not that they care but I'm still I'm just gonna tell them my thoughts about some things they need to do and change I love, still love the idea of like Santa flying across the screen or an elf pops out of an egg. <clears throat> and when he pops out of the egg, you um, he then just transform to a Pokemon you don't know. Uh, you know how like they did the Ditto, the, the Ditto did uh, oh, and then it changed to Ditto. Um, I don't know if you saw that, but I think, um, there's a bunch of videos out there of the transforming to video. Now this is up on my office. Look at this. You see all that? Now watch. You'll see more coming as we flip around into the parking structure. All of a sudden it goes kish, kish, kish. But I can get those from my desk. I can just leave the game on all day. That's kind of why I want the candy for time because I can leave the game all day at my desk and just stand up. Yeah. should do is either comment on my video about what you'd like to see for the holidays and I'll forward it on to Niantic or send them an email yourself. It's like we're going to have a good parking day. Uh, forward it on yourself and just simply say, hey, uh, this is what we'd like to do because you know what? When they start hearing from the public, that's when things change. So, all right, I'm parking. I'm gonna grab the mangoes. Brought some mangoes in for work because I bought too many. I don't know what I was thinking. So we're walking now. You can see those guys just keep popping up. I'm not even gonna catch them right now. Let's uh, see where we're at. We got our five day candy, four seven. Okay, so here's what I'm gonna tell you. Or see that and want to see how change so fast is. Um, here's what I'm gonna do. Uh, I'm gonna pause the video. I'm gonna put a second video on afterwards, which is gonna be hatching the egg. 